Hello traders and investors, welcome back to the Trend Trader channel. So this is the continuation uh, video from the five uh, fundamental truths about uh, the market. So it's a continuation of the lessons from trading in the zone, the book by Mark Douglas. It's a book that I recommended that you grab yourself a copy, especially if you want uh, to improve your game in the stock market. In today's video, I'm talking about the seven principles of consistency. These principles are also coming from the very same book, <laughs> right? Okay, so the main purpose of this uh, two series video is that uh, I would like to help you to become a consistently profitable trader. It's not a difficult uh, thing to achieve. You just need a change of mindset in order for you to be able to reach uh, this level, right? So now let's start uh, looking at these seven principles. The first principle is that as a trader, you need to objectively identify your edges. See, the key word today is objectively. You not need to be subjective and try to over-rationalize uh, things. It needs to be fact-based. Look at your data. What does your information say about uh, your trading? We spoke about edge. We said that an edge is nothing more than an indication of a higher probability of one thing happening over another. Let's say now you are already consistently profitable. So you know that in the long run, you can make money in the stock market more than you can lose money. Right. So now, you know, objectively, it's based on fact. It's based on your trade. You are keeping a trading journal. You know that if you take this particular trade it is more likely to result in profit than in a loss. You have objectively identified that you've compared buying a dip versus uh, buying a breakout. Uh, you have compared uh, buying companies with a low PE ratio versus buying overvalued companies. So you know that every time you act in this manner, it results in profit or it is, it is more likely to result in profit. So you have to objectively identify your edges as a stock market uh, participant. The second principle is that you need to predefine the risk of every trade. We always uh, talk about risk in the stock market. We say that a uh, risk is inherent. It's always going to be there. We cannot run away from it. We have defined risk uh, for our viewers. We said that risk is a possibility of a loss. In this context, the loss of capital. Right. Well, we don't expect you that you can allow your position to run all the way to minus 100%. The nice thing about the stock market is that the price will never reach a zero. It can trade to the lowest sense, but it will never uh, reach zero. But that shouldn't uh, make you to be in peace with the fact that you can allow your capital to fall all the way to minus 99, 99%. Right. So every time you place a trade, you need to be aware that it's possible that the trade is not going to work in your favor. And if it does not work in your favor, you will have to cut it. When you cut it, you are going to lose a portion of your capital. Therefore, it is important to know the amount of capital that you are willing to uh, part ways with on every trade. I always use this example that if I buy something for 100 rand per share, I'm going to sell it if the share price drops to 90 rand per share. That means that I've already predefined my risk. In this case, my risk is 10 rand per share. I'm ready to part ways with that uh, 10 rand. I don't want the stock market to take all my 100 rand, but I'm willing to give the stock market 10 rand of my capital. Right? Then the third principle is that you need to completely accept the risk or that you should be willing to let go of the trade, right? Let's start by completely accepting risk. We said that risk in the market is always going to be there. So we know that it is risk, but there's a difference between knowing that risk exists, exists and accepting that risk. The reason why people hold on to their losses in the stock market is because as much as they know that there is risk in the stock market, they are not willing to accept that risk. Before you take a trade, you predefined your risk. You said that if the share price drop by minus 10%, 
you are going to exit that position. That is you knowing risk for that particular trade. Now you are in that trade, the share price it start uh, dropping, it goes to minus 90 rand. Now it's time for you to accept that risk and sell that position and lose that 10 rand per share. That is where most uh, people struggle with because now they keep on trying to rationalize why they wouldn't uh, want to sell. They come up with a lot of stories from paying tax, um, from saying that you only lose when you sell and all those kinds of things. But for you to become consistently profitable, you need to accept th that risk. Don't just know it, accept it. And be willing to let go of the trade that uh, is not working. I think this uh, principle is clear. It is just much more clear. If you try to argue with it, well, it's up to you. There's nothing that uh, I can do to, uh, to help you. Then the fourth principle is that you need to act on your edges without reservations or hesitation. Remember, we said that you need to objectively identify your edges. So now you know your edges, you know what works for you in the market. So every time you see that particular setup, you just take it. You don't waste time trying to think, unless of course you don't have capital to take that particular position. But every time uh, you see that setup, you just take that setup. If you are a technical uh, an, a technical trade, you are trading a certain uh, chart pattern. Let's say maybe you are trading an inverse head and uh, head and shoulder. Every time you see an inverse head and shoulder, the price breaking above the neckline, you don't uh, start to think about other things. You just uh, pull the trick. You see, that is you acting on your edge without a reservation or hesitation because you know that it works. Most of the time, it works, right? Then the fifth principle is that you need to pay yourself whenever the market makes money available <laughs> to you, right? We know we are in the market to make money. If you are in the market for other things, well, I don't know why you would be in the stock market if your intention is not to make money. I'm in the stock market to make money. So every time the market makes money available to you, you need to pay yourself. By this principle, well, you can interpret it the way that you want to interpret it. But we are not saying that whenever you close a profit, then it means that you should withdraw that money and then go spend it elsewhere. Obviously, the decision is going to be your own decision. In my case, whenever I take a swing trade and then the take profit is hit, that is the market making money available to me. Then I close that profit. Now I get back my principal or my invested capital plus the profit. Then I can take that money and reinvest it in another position, right? We saw uh, people buying uh, what is called uh, growth stocks. There. So a uh, plenty of companies that did well, uh, especially after March uh, or April 2020. People, they made a lot of money, their paper profits. Then they started to give back uh, those profits, you see, because they didn't sell some of their shares. Well, nobody knows where, where is the top of the market. But then the, the share prices started to fall, right? You could have exited anyway as the share price was falling just uh, to lock in your gains, you see? So if you didn't lock in your gain, then now the share price it drops back to your entry level. Worst case scenario is that now the share price drops even below your entry price. Now you turned what was a nice paper profit, you are now turning it uh, into the loss. So make sure that every time the, your investment it goes up uh, by certain percentages, I normally use a risk to reward. I prefer that uh, once I start to make multiples of the risk that I took, for example, if we have a uh, one is to three risk uh, to reward, it means that if I'm risking that the rent on a position and the share price has advanced by that the rent, then I can start uh, to lock in some of that profit and even move my stop above a uh, break even just to make sure that that amount of money that I've managed uh, to make in the market, I don't give it back. So it is important that whenever the market makes uh, the money available to you, you do take that money because that is the money that you are going to compound uh, in your account. <laughs> you cannot compound nothing. So yes, it is important that you pay yourself, right? And then uh, principle number six, 
you need to continuously uh, monitor your susceptibility to making errors. We're always going to make errors uh, in the stock market. Nobody uh, is immune to this. Errors are just uh, simple. We're not uh, taking. We're not talking about deviating from your strategy. I mean, you need to be disciplined enough to follow your strategy at all times. But errors are just uh, simple. <laughs> you want to buy ten, tra uh, 10 shares of a particular company. For some reason, you press 100 instead of pressing 10. You put in that extra zero. It happens. <laughs> it happens to the best of us. When I was trading uh, Forex back in the day, when I was trying to trade Forex, at some point I wanted to buy 0.1 lot. For some reason, I bought one lot and the balance of that uh, account was so tiny. So yeah, <laughs> everything just went uh, haywire in that um, particular trade it's a mistake it was an error i uh, didn't uh, intentionally want to buy one lot i actually wanted to buy a 0 0.1 lot so it happens sometimes you you're looking for a ticker you want to buy a certain company you want to buy a alphabet you know the ticker is a uh, google or Google, but there's another company that uh, is in the transportation sector which is just a gogl you see once you miss that one particular uh, Oh, there it's possible that you can buy an incorrect company not the company that uh, you are looking for right so understand that you will make mistakes there's nothing wrong with making mistakes in fact in life in general we're all going to make mistakes at some point forgive yourself uh, for making those mistakes and fix them they are always going to be there but fix them don't make the same mistake uh, over and over again every time you make a mistake forgive yourself fix it understand that uh, you made a mistake and fix it uh, as soon as you realize that you have made a mistake right and then the seventh and last principle is that you need to understand uh, the absolute necessity of these uh, principles in order to have consistent uh, success in the market and once you understand the necessity of these principles never violate them right so let's just go through these principles we said you need to identify your edges which is important. Then you need to predefine the risk for every trade before you take it, not once uh, you are in the trade. You need to predefine that risk before you pull the trick. Then once you've pulled the trick and the trade does not work in your favor, it's working against you, you need to completely accept that risk and be willing to let go of the trade. It didn't work out, so there's no need for you to continue to tie up your capital in that particular name. Just sell that company and go look for another company that can act right, that can act in your favor. And now because you have objectively identified your edges, then it's time that now you act on your edges without reservations or hesitation you just pull the trigger every time you get a buy or sell signal you don't hesitate you don't waste time you just pull the trigger right and then if you do make money in the stock market do pay yourself take those profit when those profit comes reinvest those uh, profit reinvest those dividends and distributions well depending on your needs if you need to withdraw that money, if that makes sense to you, do withdraw that money. But we are in the business of making money. So whenever you make money, make sure that you do get uh, to touch that money, right? And accept that you are going to make mistakes. You are going to make errors, whether you're in your trading platform or maybe sometimes in your decision uh, making. It happens. It happens to almost all all of us so don't beat yourself up because you made a mistake even the great uh, investors or traders at some point in their lives they've made a mistake i'm not saying that uh, warren buffett made a mistake by not buying bitcoin but if you look at the growth of bitcoin even if he spent maybe one billion of uh, his net worth or Berkshire hathaway's uh, net worth that could have really pushed uh, up the value of the fund i'm not saying he made a mistake he's comfortable with that decision that he didn't invest in bitcoin but it happens it is not just a bitcoin i made an example of buying more shares than the number of shares that uh, you were intending to make 
right? So yeah, these are the principles that can help you to become a consistently profitable trader. They are coming from a book called uh, Trading in the Zone by Mark uh, Douglas. You can get yourself a copy at Amazon or you can try to get it at your local uh, bookstores. So that's it uh, for this uh, mindset uh, trading kind of thing uh, videos where we're just uh, sharing some things that I, I wish I knew earlier so that I could quickly become a consistently profitable trader. Now, just because I know these things, <laughs> it does not mean that I apply them all the time. I try to apply them all the time because they have helped me to become a, a better trader. I believe that they can also help you uh, as well. So if you enjoyed uh, this video, please like, subscribe if you haven't uh, subscribed and do share. And also in the comment section, please share what has helped you to become a consistently profitable trader. I will really appreciate that. I'm always looking forward to answering your questions and comment there. All right. So that's it uh, for today. I will see you in the next video.